you have filed a claim with the VA for disability compensation. Now what? You should be expecting a rating decision letter. My name is Lori Underwood with Woods and Woods and in this segment we're going to talk about what's in a rating decision letter. If you filed a claim for service connection or increased rating and for disability compensation, the rating decision letter should come from the regional office and it should come to you by mail. It should be dated and it should include a VA official VA seal. If you are represented, your representative should also be copied on the decision and this is usually listed at the bottom of the letter. The rating de decision letter should tell you what the regional office has decided regarding your claim. This should make a list of evidence that they looked at in deciding your claim and any adjudicative actions taken prior to on the same claim. It should also make a listing of favorable findings they made when looking at and evaluating your claim. If you have been granted service connection, then the letter should tell you the effective date for each condition that they have granted as well as the rating that they are going to assign to those conditions. If you have been granted an increased rating, then the decision letter should tell you what rating they are giving you and the effective date from which that rating will start. The letter should also notify you of any changes in your combined ratings from these grants. And that's important because that is what your compensation is based off of, your combined rating. It should also tell you the effective date of any change in your combined rating, which would be the effective date in any change of your compensation. The rating decision letter more often than not, unfortunately, carries denials. These denials need to be reviewed closely. They should still list evidence and any prior adjudicative actions the reasons for denial, and any favorable findings that the VA made when looking at your claims. It is most important to note that any denial must be appealed, any rating decision denial must be appealed within one year. There are no exceptions. If you have been granted service connection, you've been granted an increased rating, or you've been denied, you may still want help with these claims. Perhaps the rating that you were assigned if you were granted isn't high enough to co properly compensate you for your limitations. You can appeal this for an increased rating. These also must be appealed within one year. If you've been denied unfairly, then you also need to appeal this within one year. For assistance with these claims and understanding your rating decision letter or appealing for increased ratings or service connections, Give us a call at the number listed below and we'll be happy to help you with your claims.